As we look back on the four year anniversary of Hurricane Harvey, we're getting a firsthand account from someone who was there. Joining me now, Storm Chaser, Jeff Mangum. Jeff, take me back to that day. What was it like when it comes to Hurricane Harvey's landfall? The night before landfall, uh, I left Austin at about five o'clock. And while all the other cars were leaving the coast, I was the one car that was going toward the coast. And I ended up getting uh, to the small town of Refurio, Texas, which is just about 15 miles off of the coast near Rockport where the landfall was made. But this storm uh, hit at night. And so that was ominous in itself, but it was moving at seven to 10 miles an hour, which means it just was just inching along. Found myself at a Burger King and Shell station. Pretty soon parts of the Shell station are s slowly coming off. And at that point, you're just trying to situate yourself in a place where you're not gonna get hit by structures. I ended up being in the eye wall, which is the worst part of the storm for 11 straight hours. I, the, the, the eye actually never completely got to Refurio. And there was a moment where I thought the eye wall was, was coming over me. And so I decided to start driving around and, and seeing what, what was happening to the town. I pulled up to document some minor flooding that was going on. And all of a sudden there's a pounding on my door. And I look over and there's a man, he just has jeans on, no shirt, no shoes. And obviously it wasn't a time for me to have a meet and greet. So I opened the door and just let him in. And his house had just gotten completely swept off by the winds. And so it took us about 20 minutes to get one mile because of all the trees that were down and there was flooding already occurring. And by the time we got to the hotel, the second story of that hotel was gone. It's one thing to show up and document a storm. It's another to have an encounter with someone who lives there, knowing that this storm has exponentially changed the course of their life. Uh, the daylight came and still getting hurricane force winds. I thought I would never get out of that. Uh, but then the rains really started pounding and it was really difficult for me to get out of Refurio. I tried three different roads, all were already flooded. By the grace of God, I got out um, and I ended up making my way to Houston for the next three days where the historic flood event took place, 50, 55 inches of rain. And I have never in my life seen anything like that. Most frightening few days of my life.